Hey everybody, David here. Today I'm going to play the Castle Ravenloft board game. Uh, you guys know that I have been wanting to get into some board games as of recently, especially seeing that I have a group of folks that I have met here in El Paso, and they're going to be coming over a couple times a month to play board games or D&D or Starfinder or whatever for a couple of hours a couple times a month. So uh, I want to learn the mechanics of this game, and I have all of the different uh, board games for the D&D cooperative stuff, whether it be The Legend of Drizzt, uh, Wrath of Asharlon, Tomb of Annihilation, and The uh, Elemental Evil. So I'm going to play all of these different board games. I'm going to play, there's 13 adventures in each one of these board games, and I'm going to play each one. Now I've got everything set up here to what I need. I have my level one cleric. I'm going to be playing Thorgrim. He's from Castle Ravenloft. And I'm going to keep everything within uh, the Castle Ravenloft board game. I'm not going to be using Drizzt or, you know, Artist Simber or any of those other powerful heroes. I want to get the I want, I want to get the the gist of how to play before I start introducing four and five people like what's going to be going on this weekend. So I know that this can get uh, pretty hectic with, with multiple people. So I have my miniatures off to the side here. Uh, and I also have some other tokens like some uh, hit point tokens for the monsters. I have a couple of condition cards like the immobilize and slowed there to the side. And you can see I have everything I need here to get started. Now, I'm not, this is my first time playing this. So if you are very experienced in this and you know the rules like the back of your hand uh if i do something wrong uh take it easy on me because this is the first time i've played i've read the book a couple of times i do have it uh over here on my left just to kind of maybe you know if i need to look something up really quick but i've read it a couple times and i i, I know the rules pretty well but i don't i i don't think i know them 100 percent yet uh but uh, every time you start a game, you choose your character sheet, which uh, I'm, I'll be level one. And if I can roll a 20, and if I have five experience, then I can go ahead and flip it over and be level two and gain another couple cards and a couple hit points, AC, etc. So I'll, I'll kind of explain everything that I got going on. These are my life. I have eight life, so I've got eight tokens out. And every time I take damage, I'll just take them off of the board. And if I heal myself, I'll put them back on. You can't go over max. Here are my dungeon tiles. These are how you create your, your game as you do your movement and you do the three different phases, the hero phase, the exploration phase, and then the villain phase. You control the monsters as well. So everything is done by the player and there's no dungeon master needed for this game. I've got my 20 sided die here. Uh, I've got a sun token here. I'll, I'll tell you why. Uh, every adventure may call for special tiles or special tokens that are included in the box. And we'll go over each one as I, as I do each adventure. Uh, this is my stack of cards, my power cards for Thorgrim. This is my, these are very nice. I like how they put this sequence of play card in there for you. So you can see the three different phases and it actually has what happens during each phase. I'll be referring to this all the time. And they give you five of these, one for each player. Uh, I've got two, I start with two at will powers. I've chosen healing strike uh, so I can heal myself. Uh, if I'm within one tile of myself. So you can, it states hero. So I am considered a hero so I can heal myself as well. And that's on any hit, on a melee hit. I also took an at will power, uh, Lance of Faith. And this is a ranged uh, attack. In case I need to attack something at range, I can attack something within a tile. And you can see it has the attack bonus and the, the damage. And it also has any flavor text. And I like that. At will powers, you can use as many times as you want. There's no limitation. Now, uh, I also get a uh, healing word by default as being Thorgrim. And this is where I can heal myself uh, for a surge value, which uh, if you're familiar with fourth edition, every player has a surge value. And Thorgrim has a four hit point surge value. So every time I, I take a surge, then I, I heal myself for four. 
So whenever I use Healing Word, I flip this card over and it states. It didn't say that on the At Will Powers. Here is a, a really nice, uh, another one called Shield of Faith. And this is when I can uh, use this whenever my heroes hit my attack, and the attack, and and if the attack hits, then I can make it miss, and everybody within one tile of me will get a two AC bonus uh, until th the next hero phase. So that's nice, and you can see this is flip it over when you're done. Then I also get one daily power, and my daily power uh, I chose Flame Strike. I mean, who doesn't like Flame Strike? I mean, come on. Uh, so I can choose a tile within two tiles of me, and I can attack each monster on that tile, and it does plus six and three damage. So it's pretty nice, and that's a one-use item, and whenever I'm done with that, I'll flip it over. So these are all of my powers that I've chosen. Pretty nice. I have a 16 armor class, I have eight HP, I have a speed of five, and my surge uh, value is four. And I can also do a, an aid to any, you know, a, any hero uh, that did not attack. Well, if I did not attack. So, but then it tells you on your sheet, you also get what cards you can take and stuff too. So I have my monster cards. This is how you generate your encounter. Every single tile that you draw will start with a monster on the pile of bones which it looks like a pile of coins actually to me, but it says bones. So we're gonna go with bones. Here's my deck of treasure cards and my deck of encounter cards. <coughs> and excuse me. So every time that you start a new adventure, my voice is getting dry, sorry about that. Every hero gets one magic item card. So let's go ahead and choose our card. So if we get, we have to get a physical magic item card. So if we draw, say, a fortune, that's instant. Uh, that doesn't count. So we need to keep drawing until we get a card. All right, there's another fortune. That's not my magic item card. Uh, ooh, third time's a charm. Look at that. I got the Dragon Breath Elixir. So I can use this item during my hero phase. So attack each monster on your tile. This attack does not count as an attack action. Wow, that's pretty nice. And then you discard the item after using it. So we will keep this. This is our magic item card for the game that we start with. We also get more. I'll put these on the bottom as you can see. And let's get going. I think we've got everything. We've got our two surge healing token. If I go to zero, I have to use a healing surge. And if I run out of healing surges and I, and I hit the zero again and I can't heal, then that means that, yes, you lose the game. So now let's go ahead and look at Adventure 1. This is called Escape the Tomb. And this is where you are a hero alone in the dungeon crypts must escape before the sun sets and Strahd returns. So the goal for this adventure is find the secret stairway tile that leads out of the dungeon before Strahd defeats you. That's not good. We want to find that dungeon tile as fast as possible. So there, uh, let's see, this is supposed to be a solo experience. Uh, now for the, and this is what I like about this game. It tells you everything that you need for the adventure setup, etc. So it tells me that I need the special components. I have uh, the Strahd's Crypt tile, which I've started, I'm starting on that. Here it is. I've got my Thorgrim miniature. Here it is. And I also need to find the secret stairway dungeon tile, which I already did. Uh, and I mixed it into the dungeon tile stack. And I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, the sun token, which is right here. And I'm going to need the sun token for the time track mechanic here at the bottom of the page. So I'm going to keep a track of this real quick and hold on to this token. So let's see. You place the Strahd's Crypt tile on the table and place the hero on the square. There we go. We've done it. And then we need to take the secret stairway tile, which is what we got to find before Strahd wakes up. And it gets, uh, and the sun goes down and the sun sets. So what, what it, and it even tells you what to do too. And this is what I like it. Everything is definitive. And this is what I really like about the fourth edition mechanics. So 
Take the secret stairway tile from the dungeon tile stack and set it aside. Shuffle the rest of the dungeon tile stack, which I did. I shuffled them really good without looking at any of the tiles and then put the secret stairway tile into the dungeon tile stack after the 10th tile. So there's 20 dungeon tiles and then there's like 20 special named dungeon tiles. So I took the, I took the 20 regular dungeon tiles and I mixed them all up. And then after 10, I took those 10 and then I added in the secret stairway. So there's 21 total tiles. So I could actually be here for a while, uh, but it's all about RNG in this game, uh, which is which is really cool. So I've done that. Uh, I don't know, have no clue where the stairway t uh, tile is. And now I'm going to take this sun token and place it here because every adventure may have special adventure rules and it's over on the right. So whenever the hero explores and draws a new dungeon tile with a white arrow, which white arrow means no encounter card draw, a black arrow means that I draw an encounter. And it could be uh, some type of special terrain, maybe environmental. It could be a trap. It could be uh, extra monster cards. It could be a bunch of different things. And it's all RNG. Uh, so every time you draw a card, well, well, you draw a tile with a white arrow, move the sun token uh, one circle to the right. So I can only draw four cards with white arrows before Strahd wakes up and starts chasing me down. That's not very, that's not very long before the sun goes down. So I'm thinking it's probably getting probably midday. So I, 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 but I like this mechanic. I love this kind of stuff. This stuff is so great, man. So when you move the sun token under the last circle, of the time track, the sun sets and Strahd wakes up and you are screwed. I was going to say something else, but you were screwed. <laughs> so I'm, I'm excited about playing this. I really am. So find the Strahd villain card and place the Strahd figure on the bone pile. Now check this out. Here's here's my card, and I you know that's pretty it's it's okay, but look at Strahd von Zarevich's card. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. He's got a bite at plus eight, a uh, magic ball of fire at plus eight, and you do all of the tactics in order. And if if this doesn't work, you go to next, and then by the end, yeah, and then he can go to misform and stuff. So yeah, you follow all these in order uh, to what he can do. That's pretty cool. I, I, I love that. Here's this little gray mini. And <coughs> I am going to start painting these too. Man, my, my voice today. Sorry about that, everybody. I had to get another drink of water, man. So that's what happens when the time track hits to the sunset. So victory is... When you win the game, when a hero starts his or her turn on the secret stairway tile. So we want to get their ASAP. <clears throat> Defeat. The hero loses this adventure if he or she has zero hit points at the start of his or her turn and there are no healing search tokens remaining. So that's important. Plus I'm playing a cleric, so I don't have the hit points and damages the other classes, but I have a little bit more survivability, but lower damage. So let's see, we're going to start. So when you start the adventure, read. You wake up alone in the depths of Ravenloft Castle. The last thing you remember was when the man with the piercing eyes and long cape approached you on the dark street outside the inn. It had to be Count Strahd, the vampire. Outside the castle, you know that the sun is high in the sky now you have to find your way out of here before the sun sets and Strahd returns to finish whatever foul plot he began last night. So we're going to set this over here so we can keep track of the sunset. Kind of maneuver my way around the, the camera. Sorry about the. Uh, I'm going to have to shift the tiles around and stuff too because I'm probably going to run out of tile uh, table space here. And every time we get a white card, we'll just move this over. So, all right, let's get going. Okay, so we are going to take a look at, I'm going to set my Dragon Breath Elixir here. We're going to look at the secret se uh, sequence of play. 
Uh, we are in the hero phase, seeing that I'm the only player. And the hero phase is, one, if you have zero hit points, use a heal. I don't have to worry about that, so we're going to number two. And see how definitive this is? It tells you how to play. It's so easy. Perform one of the following actions. Move and then make an attack. Attack and then move or make two moves. So I want to I I move to the end of uh, a tile. Let's go this way. I'll move two. So I have a movement of five, speed of five. So now I'm here. I'm done with the hero phase. You flip over the card. We go to the exploration phase now. And if your hero occupies a space adjacent to an unexplored edge, which this is an unexplored edge, uh, then you need to... Oh, and I got a white too. So that's cool. That's that. Oh, no, that's not cool. <laughs> so now my sun tracker goes to here to number two. So, wow, I'm uh, I, I'm already fixing to wake Count Strahd uh, Van Zetterwich up after the first tile. That's, that's not good. So let's see. Go to the step two. So we were there. So now we need to draw a dungeon tile. And when you draw the dungeon tile, the arrow needs to face your hero. And this is how you build the dungeon and the encounter. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? I mean, it's it's totally RNG. So now uh, we've got the dungeon, blah, blah, blah. Now step three is we need to draw a monster card, which we're gonna draw our monster card from down here. We're gonna flip it over. <laughs> Great. We got a blazing skeleton right off the bat. So right on the bone pile, place the blazing skeleton. All right. So that that's it. So that's that's it for the exploration phase. So now we're to the villain phase, which is the last phase in the round. So if I didn't place a tile during the blah blah blah, you know, okay, draw an encounter card, which I didn't get an encounter. So if a villain is in play, activate it. Okay. And now we're activating each monster and trap, etc. So uh, our blazing skeleton here is now activated so it is going to attack me and the tactics are there you know it says 13 ac two hit points and the attack is plus seven uh and two damage but on a miss it's still one damage and it's worth two experience so the tactics are if the blazing skeleton is within one tile of a hero which i am uh, it attacks each hero on the closest hero's tile with a ball of fire. So otherwise, the Blazing Skeleton moves, but there's no move. Uh, the Blazing Skeleton has a plus 7. Uh, and let's see, that's a 22. That definitely hits my 16 AC. So I'm going to take 2 damage. I guess it would be fire damage, but there's no, there's no different types of damage. So I'm just going to remove 2 of these hit point uh, tokens off. So now I'm down to 6 health. And the Blazing Skeleton card I'm going to keep out. So now, what I'm going to do is we are going to the next round. And remember, we start with the Hero Phase. And uh, I'm going to kind of keep this off so I can kind of refer to it. So during the Hero Phase, uh, let's see, I can perform a move and an attack. I'm definitely going to do that. i got to take this Blazing Skeleton out. So I have a five movement, and I'm going to move one, two, and then I'm going to attack the blazing skeleton. Now, you know what? I might remember. I have, I have that lance of faith, too. So I think what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my at will power, and sorry I moved and moved back. I, usually I don't like to do that, but... So I'm going to use Lance of Faith, and I can attack one monster within a, a tile of me. And if the monster is undead, which it is, I'll deal an additional one damage with this attack. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do a plus six attack on the Flaming Skeleton. It has a 13 AC. Uh, so I have a nine plus Lance, Lance of Faith is a plus six. That is a 15. That is a hit. He's undead. Uh, I do one damage plus one damage for being undead. He has two hit points. He is dead. So he comes off of the map. I get to take a treasure card. 
and I put this monster into the EXP pile, which I'm gonna put the EXP pile right to the left where you guys will be able to just see the edge. So now I've got two experience points banked. I think I've done all this right so far. So what I wanna do now is take a treasure card and what do I get? I get a fortune, a burst of speed. Play this fortune immediately. Your hero can move his or her speed. Wow, that's pretty cool. And then discard this after playing. So, all right, let's 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 move up to my speed. One, two, three, four. All right, so that's, that's going to be it. So I have to get rid of this treasure card immediately. I'm just going to put it on the bottom. Because I don't think I'm going to go through this many treasure cards. Very nice. So now, uh, that was my hero phase. Now I'm going to go to the exploration phase, I believe it is. And the exploration phase it is. Uh, that's where I get to draw another tile. Let's see if I can... Let's see if I can get a <laughs> another wider black tile. Okay, so this time I got a black tile. I'm going to move this over a little bit. Remember, white tiles make the time track uh, advance, which I'm happy that did not happen. So I've got a couple of different ways that I can go still. Uh, so remember, I drew this, so I'm going to have to draw uh, another monster card. So let's draw this monster card. Okay, so now I got a Wraith. Here's a Wraith Mini. It starts on the bone pile. All right, this is also a black card, so I have to draw an encounter card as well. I think I'm doing that right. So yeah, choose a dungeon tile, draw the monster. Okay, so that's exploration phase. Now the villain phase is uh, if I didn't, then blah, blah, blah. If a villain is uh, in play, activate it, and then uh, activate the encounter card as well. So the encounter card is uh, event reinforcements. So with this card, the constant advance of Strahd's minions gives you no time to relax. So choose the hero controlling the fewest monsters, which that would be me. That hero places a new monster on any tile with an unexplored edge. Wow. So that's uh, that's not good. So I'm going to get rid of this card. It says discard. I'm going to put this on the bottom. So now I have to draw another monster card and put it on any unexplored edge, which I got a kobold skirmisher. So here's a Kobold Skirmisher, and I'll put the Kobold Skirmisher right here. That's on the edge of an unexplored uh, tile. Wow. So now these things get to attack. So, wow, that, that, is, uh, that is pretty crazy. So uh, let's see. Villain in play, activate each monster and trap. So, wow. So now these things get to attack. Let's go with the Wraith because it was out first. And they want you to go in order of the monsters, I think, from what I read. So the Wraith has 15 AC, 2 hit points. So if the Wraith is in within one tile of a hero, it moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks the hero with a life-draining claw. Okay, so he's going to move. So he's moved right there to me. Um, so he's going to, let's see, Death Shriek. When the monster is destroyed, each hero on its tile takes one damage from death streak so wow this uh, is even getting better so he's going to attack me with his claws and i'll roll the the die it's plus six so he hits me with a 22 he's going to do wow three damage to me holy cow man one two three Oh man, I am in so much trouble already. This is this is like really hard. Uh, let's see. Next, the Kobold Skirmisher. If the Kobold is is within one tile of a hero, it attacks the closest hero with the thrown javelin, so he doesn't move. Oh my goodness, the javelin is plus nine. <laughs> Gotta love fourth edition. Here we go. Plus nine. So nine plus five is fourteen. And I have a 16 AC, 
So that misses. The javelin streaks right past me. So that's good. It doesn't say any miss damage or anything. So I am good to go. Man, we're going to uh, to the next. Uh, we're going to the man. I got a monster. I've got two monsters up. So now we need to go to the uh, the sequence of play. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack. I got to get rid of this wraith right here. I have to get rid of him. So uh, what I want to do. Uh, let's see. Seeing that I have two creatures, I think I'm going to use my and remember. My Dragon's uh, Breath Elixir does not count as an action, but I have to discard it. So I am going to attack each monster on the tile with this, as you can see, at plus four. Okay, so I'm going to attack the Wraith first in order. And that is an eight. He's got a 15 AC. That is a miss. Uh, not good. So now I need to attack the Kobold Skirmisher. That is an 18 plus 4 to 22. That's a hit. He's only got a 13. So I'm going to do one damage to the Kobold, which the Kobold only has one damage, one health. So I'm going to take him off. He is dead. Uh, I am also going to place his card in my experience pile, which his experience is only worth one, which is okay. But that plus 9, man, that's pretty crazy. And then I'm going to discard this because I used it. And that's it. So now I'm still at the beginning of my of my turn, basically. And I'm gonna I'm gonna move these cards up a little bit here so I can kind of get a little bit more room. Maybe I'll place the, the wraith here. So I'm in the hero phase still. Remember, I used my free action dragon breath potion. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna t uh, not take a move. I'm gonna attack. So now uh, what I want to do is I need to use Healing Strike. My Healing Strike, attack one adjacent monster. If you hit, choose one hero within one tile of you. That, uh, that hero will, will regain one hit point on a hit. So it, yeah, if you hit. Okay, so now this is a plus eight attack. So let's roll. So that's a 20. The Wraith has a 15 AC. So I will do one damage. Wow, the the wraith only has the wraith has two hit points. So I'm going to take a little uh, monster hit point token and keep track of one damage on him. So now I get one life back. So that that's good. But I'm 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 at four hit points. So that's not good. These wraiths are super powerful. So I can't, I can't move. Well, I can move. Um, I'll attack and then move. So maybe I'll move. Hmm. Maybe I'll, but if I go here, I'll activate another tile and another monster. And that's just going to be a train wreck. So let, let's move here. Well, I'll we'll move one, two. And uh, that's going to be the end of my, my uh, hero phase. Now let's go to uh, the exploration phase. Let's see. So if my hero unoccupies a space adjacent, okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I don't draw a dungeon tile. I don't draw a monster card because uh, I, I didn't do anything. So now it goes to the villain phase. So if I didn't place a tile, uh, or if you place a tile, draw an encounter card, but I didn't. So if a villain is active, play, play him. Okay, so let's do it. <clears throat> He's going to turn towards me, and he'll attack me again with his, his attack at plus six. Please miss. All right. Three plus six is a nine. It misses my 16 armor class. That's really nice. So that's done. So we're back to the hero phase. It's my turn. So I'm going to attack this thing again. I'm, I'm going to have to use my healing strike at willpower again. Oh, and I missed. I totally missed because my healing strike is plus eight. That's only an 11. He's got a 15. I'm screwed on that. So now we're going back to him attacking me. And he hits with a 24. 
And he, oh, I was supposed to take one damage last round too because he missed. So now, look at this. He just hit me for three more damage. Uh, and look at that. I am at zero life. That's not good. This wraith is like totally kicking my butt. So now he's done. We're going back to the sequence of play. So one is if you have zero hit points, I have to use a healing surge token if one is available. So one of my healing surges are gone already. Gone. My surge value is four. So I get back four hit points. Which this thing does three damage on a hit. That's, that's absolutely crazy. All right. So let's see. Um, so I went ahead and I activated... And now I can uh, do step two. I can attack, which uh, I need to. Uh, or should I use my healing word? It'll give me a surge value. It'll put me back up to full hit points. No, I can't do that. I need to attack this thing. So let's attack it. I'm going to attack it again with healing strike. I missed last time. Oh no, eight. Okay, eight and eight is 16. I barely hit him. He's got a 15. Uh, so I do one more damage. I kill him. So finally, this Wraith lasts like three rounds. I'll take the hit point token back. Uh, I will get a treasure card. My treasure card is the crystal ball. Use this item during your hero phase instead of attacking. Reveal the top card of any deck or the top tile of any tile stack. Okay, so you can kind of see in advance what you're going to get. So you can reveal the top card of any card deck or the top tile of any stack. I mean, it's kind of kind of moot, but I mean, at least I can kind of see what's coming and plan for it. You know what I mean? So that is my, that's my hero phase. So I'm going to put my crystal ball right there. Okay, so I got three experience, which is nice. So it's dead. I took my, I got six experience now. Wow, so now I need to hit a 20 or something. If I hit a 20, I can level up and go to level two and spend five experience. Okay, so now I attacked, so I'm going to move, which I think I'll move... Five, I get five movements, so let's go one, two, three, four, and we'll stay here. This is the end of my uh, hero phase, so let's go to the exploration phase. Uh, so now I got to draw a tile. So if my hero occupies a square adjacent to an unexplored edge, which I do, I need to draw a dungeon tile and place it. Oh, please don't be white. It is. So uh, here it is. It's already on time track three. This is this is this is tough, man. For a solo adventure, this is pretty tough. Uh, I, but I like it. I like this type of challenge. Okay, so I've drawn my dungeon tile. And now I have to draw a monster card. Here's my monster card. Please don't be another wraith. Good. A kobold skirmisher. So I will put another kobold skirmisher on here. And I'm done. So now we get to go to the villain phase. There's no encounter. So he is going to chuck his javelin at me at plus nine. Man, unbelievable. Nine and eight is 17. He barely hits me. He does one damage to me. I'm down to three. So now I need to... This is going to be a perfect time for me because it's my turn now. Uh, I, I think what I'm going to do is use my healing word. I, I mean, I have to use healing word. So I can use this power during my my hero phase. Uh, yeah, it's, is it, yeah, it's hero phase. So I get my surge value, and then I've got to flip the card over, so it's done. So I'll get back four more. One, 
two, three, four. I'll flip this over and put this at the bottom, which is uh, not good. Uh, and now that was that was my action, I think, wasn't it? Use this use this power during your phase. During your phase, yeah, I guess. I guess that is. I guess that's it for for my uh, attack. So, or maybe because it's not an attack, maybe I get to go because it is a utility power. It doesn't say it takes an action, so. I'll play it as I'll still get to move and attack because the, hold on, let me, yeah. So no, I guess that doesn't count because like shield of faith is like a, would be considered like a, you know, reaction. So let, let's, let's go ahead and we'll go to my next phase, which I'll, I will move and then attack in the same phase in the hero phase. So let, let's do this attack. Now, uh, I am going to use healing strike again. Uh, oh man, 12. Do I hit? No, I missed. He's I'm a plus eight with a healing strike. Force 12, so I miss. But that's okay, because uh, I've got something else I'm going to use. Uh, so let's go to the villain phase now. No, the, yeah, no, let's see. So I attacked, I moved. Now it's, yeah, so we're good to go now. It's the villain phase now. So actually, I should have stayed here. No, I could have moved. Yeah. And now let's go with the, the Kobold Skirmisher. So sorry, guys. My first time doing this. So yeah, he crushes me again. But I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, no, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to eat the damage. I'm not going to use my Shield of Faith. I, I just can't do it. So let's take the damage. And we'll go to the Hero Phase again. So now I'll attack this thing and hopefully hit it this time with healing strike at plus eight. Come on. All right, so that's a 21. He's dead. He's going in the experience pile. Tokens going over here to the side. Uh, I get a treasure card. Let's see what I get. Oops. Fortune, breath of life. Wow, that's pretty nice. Play this fortune immediately. Your hero regains one hit point and discard it. All right, so that's cool. I get one hit point. I actually, I, I really needed that. And then I get another hit point because of I hit with healing strike. So I'm back up to full hit points. But I don't have healing word anymore. And I don't have healing surge. So, wow, that's pretty crazy. So let, let's do our move and then we'll take a tile. And we put the, oh man. Look at this. You can't move diagonally like this either. I do remember reading that. So look at that, man. Another white card. We are at time track number four, where the next white card I get, Count Strahd, Zarin, uh, Count Strahd Von Zedovich is going to wake up. This is not good, guys. This is not good. Okay, so let's get another monster card here. I'm done with the hero phase. Uh, I got a ghoul this time. So the ghoul, wow, 16 hit points, and he does a lot of damage too. Holy cow. So here is a ghoul. He is on the bone pile. Now, we don't have any encounters because it was a white arrowed tile. Let's go to activating the monster and playing the monster. So he's got 16 AC, one, eight, uh, one hit point. So we can do tactics in order. If the ghoul is adjacent to a hero, it attacks with its bite. It's not adjacent, thankfully. 
If the ghoul is in one tile of a hero, it moves adjacent to the hero and attacks with Paralyzing Claw. This is not good. All right, so it gets a plus seven to hit. Oh, I need a miss here. I really do. That's uh, not going to miss with a 21. So with a 21, I'll take one damage and I'm immobilized. So I'll add the immobilized condition to my character sheet. So basically I cannot move now and I discard this condition at the end of my hero phase. So I can't even move next time, which is okay because at least I won't draw a white arrowed tile. <laughs> so that's okay with me. Okay, so now I'm starting to bank some experience points up and I can cancel encounters too. I can't cancel monsters, but I can spend five experience and cancel an encounter. And I have three, four, five, six, seven. And then after this guy, I'll have nine. So that's pretty cool. So now we're done with the, the villain phase. We go back to the hero phase. I'm immobilized, so I can't move. Uh, so hmm, I guess I'm going to go ahead and, I, you know, I'm just going to, I, I have to keep using healing strike. I mean, I, I hate to, to keep doing that, but I mean, it is my at will power. But I, I do, I, I need to use this and I need to take this thing out because it, now it's adjacent to me and his bite does three damage. So let, let's go ahead and do plus eight. He's got a 16 armor class. Oh, oh I missed. So that, that's it for my hero phase. There was no exploration. We're going right to uh, villain phase. Wow, this is not good. All right, so seeing that he's adjacent to me, he's going to get to do his bite, which is plus nine. And of course, I roll good for that. So that's a 21. So I take three more damage. One, two, three. I'm back down to four hit points. Uh, so let's go to the, the hero phase again. And hopefully I can hit this thing. I mean, if I don't hit him, it's not a good thing. So 13 uh, plus my 8 is 21. I'll get one life back. Uh, I will hit him for one damage, and he will die. I'll put his miniature back. I will draw a treasure card. And let's see what I get. Breath of Life. I regain another hit point, so I'll take that. That was two in a row. I guess I didn't shake the deck up that good. So I'll put that on the bottom. It's back. Okay, so now I get to move. So let's see here. What what are, where am I gonna move to? I need to get as far away from straw count straw that I can. I mean, to be honest, I really do. I got I gotta get away from him. So let's go ahead and move four. That's it for my hero phase. I got my ghoul now. I have nine experience points. Let's draw a tile, please. Uh, thankfully, there is no uh, dark. Well, there's no white tile there. So let's kind of move that over a little bit. Still got our healing surge. Uh, let's see. So now what monster do we get? Please don't be something serious. A spider. I get a spider. So I'll take one of the spider tokens, put it on here. I'm here. Uh, okay. So this is not too bad. So I've done everything I needed to do. I get an encounter. I got to draw an encounter card now too. So... Let's uh, let's draw the encounter. Prowling spirits, you must discard one of your treasure cards of your choice. Mm. Well, that's o that's okay. I'll go ahead and I'll discard this, even though you know I could spend the five XP. I'm not going to do that. Uh, so let's go ahead discard that. Put it back in. There's the breath of life. I'll put that back in too. And now. We're good to go to the next 
phase. So it's no, yeah, we got to go to the villain phase now. So I discard this. So I get rid of the encounter card. And now I have to attack with the spider, which is a vermin. So if the spider is adjacent to a hero, it's not. Uh, if the spider is in one tile, okay, then that's good. Oh my goodness. Uh, if the spider is in within one tile of a hero, it attacks the closest hero with an acidic web. No, this is not good. Oh, the web is plus 11. Can you believe that? 21's a hit. So uh, I'll take one damage and I'm slowed and place the spider adjacent to the heroes. So I'm slowed, so I don't have immobilized on anymore, but now I'm slowed. And in fourth edition, it carries over into the, the board game where it's a two. So now I have a, a two speed and I'll lose it at the end of my hero phase. So now we're done there and we're gonna go back to, we're gonna go back to the hero phase. And with the hero phase, uh, let's see. I guess I'm, I I I got to keep my I, I hate doing this, but I'm gonna have to do healing strike again. So a seven plus eight is a fifteen. Thankfully, that is what I needed to hit. So I'll add a hit point back. I kill the spider, it goes into the experience pile, and now I can I can get rid of an encounter. This thing goes back, and I get a treasure card. So let's see what I get for a treasure card. Ooh, look at that, Boots of Striding. Play this item immediately. You gain a plus one bonus to speed while this item is in play. So instead of two, I get to move three now which is cool because remember I, I'm slowed. So let's put the boots of striding. I had to play it immediately. I get a plus one. I'm slowed with the boots of striding plus three. Uh, I can move. Let's go one, two. So, I mean, it really didn't matter anyway. So let's, let's draw another card, shall we? Well, let's draw another tile. What do we got? All right. Oh, a black tile again. I, I, I'm okay with this. Guys, I'm actually okay with this. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this black tile. I'm gonna put these stack of tiles over here. Starting to run out of room, ladies and gents. I knew this was probably gonna happen. And I'm no longer slowed because it's the end of the hero turn now. Let's go to hmm. I'm gonna keep my healing surge token up here. Alright, cards to the side. I moved, I drew a card. I, do, I need to do the encounter and the monster. Another spider, which uh, I'm okay with that. The spider will not be adjacent to me. So now let's go in, let's see, what is the order? Is it encounters first or, or what? So uh, if a villain employee, yeah, activate each monster and trap. So I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll do the, wow, that spear gauntlet is so crazy. Spears pop up out of the ground, skewering you. Place the spear gauntlet marker on the active hero's tile. If that tile already has a marker, discard this card and draw a new one. So uh, let's see. I have a. I need to get the trap, I guess. The spear trap marker. Where is this spear trap marker? Spear gauntlet. Well, those healing surge tokens are looking really good. <laughs> oh, spear gauntlet. That's that's exactly what I need. So let's. Uh, I was wondering what these. 
all these different tiles were for the the monsters and stuff like that. All right, so it says place the spear gauntlet. Okay, so I did. All right, so we'll put that there. So let's see, trigger the trap during your villain phase, attack each hero within one tile. Well, that's, that's a lot. So let's attack. Hopefully we'll miss. No, of course not. I don't think I've missed yet. Yeah, I did. I missed once. So it's 21. I'll take three damage. Oh, that hurts. Man, those three damages. Why can't I do three damage? I mean, come on, man. Why can't I do three damage? So let's see. Instead of attacking, a hero can disable it with a 10 plus, which I... Yeah, I'm going to have to... Oh, man. Yeah, because... As long as I'm within the tile, I'll still take damage every round. So, wow, this game is tough, man. All right. So now we <laughs> we do the spider. He gets his plus 11 attack. And it hits me with a 26. So I'll take one damage again. And I'll go ahead and I'll take... Uh, yeah, one damage. And then I'm also slowed. So I got slowed back on me. So I only got a two movement again. And that's it. Now it's my turn. So let's see. I, I, I'm, I'm between a rock and a hard place. I got two life left. I'm on a spear gauntlet trap. Uh, I mean, this is absolutely crazy. I mean, what do I do? I mean, seriously. I mean, do I do I kill the spider? I guess I can. I'll, I'll try to kill the spider. I'll move up. So I'm slowed. I mean, I've only got a one movement. I'm going to attack the spider. It has a 15 AC. I got to attack with healing strike again. And I missed. I missed again. Unbelievable. I'm totally going to fail this uh, first adventure. Not good. All right. So now... We're done. I'm done. I can't do anything else. So now, I guess it goes goes to the uh, there. There was no exploration. I'm still attacking the spider. So the 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 gaunt the the gauntlet. I mean, it hit me. The spear gauntlet hit me with an 18. That's three damage. I'm back down to zero. So the spider won't attack me, it says, because it doesn't attack heroes that are at zero. So that now it goes back to, <clears throat> I'm so screwed here. So it goes back to the hero phase. I'm at zero, so I have to use my last healing surge. There it is. I get back four. I think I'm doing this right. And now... I can attack. <clears throat> so what do I do again? I mean, I keep missing. That's the problem that I'm having is I keep missing. But I need to, I need to get out of here. So I'm, I'm going to ignore the spear trap and I'm going to attack the spider again. Oh my gosh. Eight and okay. Thankfully I hit the spider and I killed it. So I get one back. The, tr the spider's gone. It's in the trap. I should have I should have got rid of that trap now that I think about it with experience. I should have cashed in five experience and got rid of that encounter. So I screwed up there. Like I said, this is my first time playing. So now I'm not slowed anymore because that was last turn, last year of phase. So now I get to move five squares. And I'm going to move all the way down here. I'm running away from that trap. So let's move these tiles up. And let's take another tile. So let's see. <laughs> I knew it was going to be a white tile. So there we go. Uh, Count Strahd von Zedovich has awakened. So as I awoken him, somewhere in the darkness behind me, I hear the sound of stone scraping on stone. It must be the sound of Strahd's coffin lids sliding open. The vampire lord is 
awakened. So now I take Strahd, put him over here, and now I break out his character sheet, which is absolutely uh, incredible. So now I've moved. I have, did I take my treasure card from last time? I didn't take a treasure card for killing the spider. I did not do that. So let me take that now. I need every bit of help that I can get. Play this item immediately. You gain a plus one bonus to AC while this item is in play. Wow, that is nice. So now I have the, the amulet of protection on me. Because I did not take uh, a treasure card. I forgot to do that. Strahd's awoken. I'm screwed. Uh, at least I've got some distance between he and I. Let's see. How many tiles do I have out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. I'm still like a good ways away, I think, probably. This is not good. And then I'm, I'm running out of room, too, for all of these tiles. So, wow. This is pretty crazy. This is pretty cray-cray. All right. So now he's... He's a uh, he's awoken, so I, I guess I can I can get rid of that. I, I don't need this book out anymore, so I'll kind of slide the the tiles over. That was that's a cool mechanic. I actually I actually really like that. So Strahd's way up there. I'm gonna move some stuff back and place the tile here sorry about this guys and gals running out of room spear gauntlet's still active all right so i've moved now let's do the i've moved i've explored i gotta pull a monster card out now uh another blazing skeleton so there's the blazing skeleton uh, that's it for me. No encounter because because it was a white white arrowed card. Well, tile, and now the blazing uh, is within one tile. He's gonna do his uh, fireball attack, so it's gonna be plus seven. Of course, it hits with a twenty one. It does two damage to me, so we'll take two of these off. I'm down to three. Uh, now let's see. So. Instead of attacking a hero, trigger the trap during your villain phase within one tile. So this thing is going to attack me again. This thing can kill me. Because I, if this thing hits me, I'm dead. Because I have no more surges left. So let, let's see. Hopefully it, this thing misses me at plus six. And it does. It It's a 13. So it misses my 16 plus my armor, which is 17 because of the amulet of protection. So yeah, that's great. So now I get to move. It's within one tile. Okay, that's great. So one, two, three. I'm going to only move three. I'm not going to move a fourth, and I'm going to attack this blazing skeleton. Uh, so that's a six plus my eight. That's a 14. He has a 13 AC. So I hit for one. I heal for one. And he's got one damage because he's got two hit points. So I'll put a little hit point marker there. So now seeing that, yeah, he's going to attack me again with that. Hopefully I can get another miss. And look at that. Clutch. He rolls a one. That's nice. Nothing happens. I like that. That's nice that finally this thing missed. So now uh, let's go to the phase again, the hero phase. I'm going to attack, of course, with healing strike. I've got to get back that hit point. I'm going to hit. I'm going to kill him. He's gone. He takes another damage. Uh, I draw a treasure card. Hopefully it's I get a level or something. I get back a hit point. There's a lot of those in there, it looks like. Put that on the bottom. Gain another hit point. I'm back up to six. 
All right, so I attacked, and now I can move, which I only have one way to move. Zarevich is up. Uh, yes, Zarevich is up. Uh, and I draw, and I draw another tile. Yep. So there we go. I got another white one. There you go. Wow. And this thing just keeps going down and down and down. So I'm out of room now. Uh, so let's draw another monster card. Oh, a normal skeleton. Here's what the skeletons look like. And let's see, it's a white tile, so no encounter. Uh, wow, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles I've done so far. So if the skeleton is adjacent, which it isn't, if the skeleton is one tile, it moves adjacent and attacks with slice. Okay, with a charging slice. So it moves adjacent uh, and it attacks me with a plus nine uh, slice. So nine and nine is 18. I have a 17 because of the amulet of protection. It hits me for two damage. So I'm done. Uh, now Z Count Strahd, don't forget, Strahd, he gets to go too. In fact, he should have probably went first. So uh, Strahd activates at the start of each. Uh, if Strahd has five hit points or fewer, no. Nope. If Strahd is within one, one tile, no. If Strahd is within one tile. If Strahd has five hit points, nope. Uh, otherwise, Strahd moves two tiles towards the hero with the most hit points. So he moves two tiles. One, two. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so Strahd's in play now, too. Uh, let's go. Come on. Let's do this. Oh, this thing has two hit points as well? All right. I need to start doing something else here. Oh, man. All my attacks are one, you know? All right. So I guess I will go ahead and attack him. I mean, that's all I can do. Uh, so that's a four. And an 8, which is 12. Can you believe it? I missed. I'm just, I am going to, I am going to fail this. There's no doubt about it. Okay, so I'm done. Let's go to the skeleton. I don't have an encounter. Of course, the skeleton rolls a 19. Plus 9, that's 28. He crushes me for, <clears throat> no. No, I take it back. <clears throat> if he's... He's adjacent, so he attacked me with a scimitar, but it's still 26, but I only take one damage. Okay. So now, uh, Strahd, he gets to move again. Oh, my gosh. I am so screwed. He gets to move two tiles, and he doesn't get attacked because it's each hero. It's not creature. So wow, I, I need I just need to start running. Oh, 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 I got a 20. I got a 20. Look at that. So when you're 20, you flip your card over. Let me read up on leveling really quick, because I'm gonna spend five experience. So I'm gonna spend two, two, and one. Okay. I'm gonna spend two spiders at two. And a kobold at one. There's five experience. I'm going to put these monsters back on the bottom of the pile. So now I get to level. And I actually crit too. So uh, let's see. Leveling up. A hero starts play at first level. Blah, 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 blah. When you roll a 20 when making an attack roll or disabling a trap, I spent the five XP and become second level. Uh, discard the monster cards after you spend them. Flip your first level hero card over and become second. Leveling up to second increases your hit points by two. All right, so I have 10 instead of eight now. My armor class and surge value by one. And it also allows me to choose a new daily power 
and you gain the special ability to make critical attacks. So I get another daily too. So let's get my my cards out here. What daily power do I want? Do I want Hallowed Advance or Beacon of Hope? Uh, choose a tile within one. I, I, I think I might go with Beacon of Hope. Yeah, I'm going to go with Beacon of Hope. So let's take that. That's going to give me a heal. So at least I have two daily powers on my utility power left. One utility power. Okay, so that's it. The skeleton is dead. So I take his, oh, the and the blazing skeleton is dead too. So I take a treasure card. Hopefully it's something with a heal or a run. Uh, oh, hoo, 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 how lucky is that? Play this fortune immediately. Flip one of your used powers over. So nice. Now I get healing word back again. And that's my surge value is now five. So that is awesome. I have all my powers back now. So I'll flip my, my healing power back over. All right. And let's see. I attacked, so I am getting out of dodge. So I'm running. Uh, I am going to draw another tile which I got a black tile and I'm going to set it here. Man, I need some other tiles that branch off. All right, so here's where I'm at now. I'll be here, okay, because I'm setting it there. Uh, so there's a monster here. <clears throat> and the monster is a rat swarm. I haven't seen that yet. It's here. It's an encounter, so it is the sliding walls, but I'm going to go ahead and spend five and get rid of this encounter. So there's two, four, and five. Wow, I've got a lot of experience banked. So I'm going to use a blazing skeleton, a skeleton, and a skirmisher. So there's five, and I'm going to get rid of that. And the spear gauntlet is still active. So I'm going to put this at the bottom. I'm going to put these monsters back in. I'm level two. Um, I don't want to burn these things. All right. And I only got three hit points, and I got no surges left. So I have to use my... So now, Strahd Von Zarevich is not within range of me well the rat swarm if the rat swarm is with one one tile of me it moves to the closest hero's tile and attacks each year so it's going to move here right down here basically you guys can see this in fact i'm gonna get rid of this row i can safely say that i can get rid of the the top row and not have to worry about it so let's move these tiles back. Yeah, if I was playing on a bigger table, you know, once I get moved and my studio set up, I'll be able to, to do more stuff like, like this and not have to worry about running out of room and crap. So yeah, this long corridor is like killing me for, for map-wise. I hope it... See, if I had a fortune, I could turn the tile to see if I was going to need to make more room. But, uh, but anyways... Uh, it's going to move, and it's going to hit me with a multitude of bites, which is a 7. Uh, an 8 and a 7 is a 15, which is a miss, because now my armor class is 18. So Strahd, let's see. Uh, within one tile, within one tile, so no. So he moves two more tiles, one, two. Now he's in, within one tile. Uh, he's going to be right beside me next round. Oh, my goodness. All right. So now it's my turn again. Uh, I am going to go ahead and attack. <laughs> I'm so, in fact, I'm going to use my healing word first. I'm going to use this uh, power again. So it's it's done. So I get back five. One, two, three. 
four, five. So I'm at eight. I still have ten hit points. I still have two more life I can get back. But at least I have eight hit points left. So now I'm going to attack with healing strike again. And I hate to keep using the same thing, but I kind of have to. So there's a 13 uh, plus seven. That's a 20. I'll do one damage. The swarm has one. So let's put these last two life tokens up here. There's a one swarms dead in my XP pile token. I like that swarm token. I can't wait to paint those. I got three of them. There needs to be more swarms in the icons of the realms. So now uh, my speed is still five. So I will go one, two, three, four, and I will do another. Take another one of these layers of tiles off. So I'll take another tile as I move. Now I'm, uh, and of course it's a black tile, so I'm gonna have to spend more experience. So now at least I can turn right. But then again, Strahd von Zarevich is now caught up to me. And it's just a matter of lights out now for me because he's got 12 hit points. And uh, yeah. So how many tiles have I gone through now? This is my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleventh 10, 11th tile. The tile that I'm looking for is after after 10. But I still have like 10 more tiles. Some and it's in there somewhere. Not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. So it looks like I'm gonna I'll probably end up failing this. So let's pull the monster. Seeing that I put a new card. Uh, another rat swarm, which I'm okay with. Uh villain phase. Oh, I get an encounter too because it's a black card. Uh, fire trap. I'm spending five. I'm gonna get rid of it. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I'm I'm like out of experience. I got three experience left. All right. So my monsters are going back in the pile. The fire trap is going back on the bottom of the encounter deck. Now the, the the spear gauntlet, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this to the side because it's like two layers of tiles up. Let's go ahead and attack with the swarm. Uh, it moves to the closest tile and it attacks with a seven. Please miss me. Uh, seven and seven is 14, that's a miss. Strahd, he moves, okay. He won't get to attack this time because he's not within one tile of me. I'm lucky about that. So Strahd moves two tiles towards me. One, two. I mean, he's basically, he's on my back door. I mean, that's not good. He says, I want to suck your blood to Thorgrim. So now if I miss... I am totally in trouble and I can run from these things too. Man. I gotta attack this. I, I need <laughs> I gotta attack that rat swarm. So I, I missed attack I missed the swarm, but I'm still running anyway. Uh, so I can you can run corners like this. So one uh let's see, the rat swarm's still gonna be up there. I gotta place a new tile. So let's get rid of this. Please be the tile that I need. Ugh, it's not. I don't have enough experience either to get rid of that uh, encounter. So now the rot grub, it gets to attack. Uh, and it hits me with an 18 because that's what I actually have now. I take one damage. Count Strahd von Zarevich uh, is within one tile of me uh, with the hero of the most. He moves adjacent to that hero and attacks him with a blood-draining bite. 
So he is within one tile. He's going to move here. His blood draining bite is plus eight. Oh. Uh, 25 is a hit. He does two damage to me. And he gets back one hit point, which is down here. But he hasn't taken any damage. So he hits me for two damage. Okay. And that's it. So both have gone. It's now my turn. Uh, oh, another monster has to go up there too. So now there's there's another rat swarm. Oh my goodness. There. So now I got two rat swarms and count Strahd. I'm just going to, I'm going to run for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my daily power. I think I'm going to use flame strike. Uh, choose a tile within two of me and attack each monster on the tile. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to attack the tile that I'm on. And let's see, it's plus six, so let's see what the swarm. The swarm is dead because it takes two. So there you go, that's dead. Done. And I get a treasure card. Play this fortune immediately. You can move your speed or make an attack. So clutch. I mean, I haven't even moved yet. So I need to uh, discard it. I mean, I'm moving it. I'm moving anyway. There's no attacks of opportunity in this game. Not that I read. So let's uh, let's do the other attack to Strahd. He's got an 18 AC, 19 AC, which I actually hit. So he's going to take three damage. <clears throat> All right, cool. So there's... There's Strahd's damage right there. He's got 12. He's got nine hit points left. So my flame strike is down just like my, uh, yeah. Okay. Very nice. So I got a, a trick coming up here next. Still one rat swarm, so now it's the let's see, I gotta move two, three, four. So I'll draw another dungeon tile. Hopefully it's the one that I need. God bless it, it's not. It's another encounter card. Another encounter. Wow, that's that's crazy. I don't think I got enough. Got four experience. It's not good. Unless I can kill. Okay, so that's it. So now I need to draw another monster card. I'm basically just trying to run away now. I got a Kobold, kobold Skirmisher. So let's get the Kobold out there. Here's an encounter. Spirit of Doom in this environment. A Grim Specter materializes nearby, bringing Penance oh, wow, of Doom. If there's an environment card already in play, discard this. Okay. Whenever a hero discards a treasure card, he or she takes one damage. So if there is an environment card already in play, so there's not, this environment remains in play. So this will remain in play until the game is over. So anytime I get rid of a treasure card, I take a damage, which is okay. So now I got three monsters on the board, which is not a good thing. Uh, let's go with the rat swarm. Well, actually, let's go with uh, Strahd. He's first. So if Strahd is with one, within one tile, he's going to get here, and he's going to bite me. I mean, that's, yeah, he's going to bite me with a plus eight. Please roll low, Strahd. 20. He's going to bite me. He heals for one more. I take two. I can keep taking two. I mean, uh, that's fine. So I'll take two damage. I'm down to four. I got no surges. I got nothing left. Now, the rat swarm, it's going to move to the closest and it's going to attack me also. 
So this this uh this rat swarm is plus seven. Uh, and it misses me because I have an 18. Remember, 17 plus my amulet down here. 18, it misses, thankfully. Now, the kobold skirmisher, if the kobold is one, within one tile, it's going to throw a javelin. And it's plus nine. Please roll low. Nope, he hits me. So I'll take one damage. Uh, and it's now my turn. Wow. This is so freaking challenging, man. This is so hard. It really is. So I'm going to try to get rid of the rat swarm with an attack. And I hit the rat swarm. The rat swarm is down. Uh, let's see. I get that experience. So now I think I have enough to get rid of an encounter if I need to. So we got the Kobold Skirmisher. I get a treasure. It's a blessing. Surround them. Play this blessing immediately until the end of your next <clears throat> until the end of your next hero phase. Each hero gains a bonus to attack rolls equal to the number of heroes on her tile. Plus one. <clears throat> so I'll I'll get rid of this at the end of my next hero phase. Okay. Oh, and then I get a life back. Man, I, I forgot to get my life back last time too, which, which is okay. Well, it's not okay. So now I get to take my movement. And I'm going to move one, two, three, four. Take another dungeon tile. Oh, God, it's a white tile though. At least I don't take a, at least I don't take an encounter. Wow, this is so nuts, man. Ugh. This tile better come up pretty soon. I mean, seriously. I'm already like 13, 14 tiles in. Oh, man. So I got to draw another monster card. There's no encounter, at least. Oh, and it's a zombie now. Uh, so let's, where's the zombie? There it is. I guess this is a... This is probably a zombie. Yeah, that's a zombie. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I moved and I attacked. I'm here. Ugh, so I still have three. All right. So let's go with straw. Oh, I could actually go down this. I could actually die. I could. So I got surround them. All right. So we'll do straw first. I'm within a tile. He's going to move here, of course. Uh, he's going to attack me with his blood attack again. Oh, eight and eight is 16. Strahd misses. That is so clutch. So nice. Thank you. Uh, next is the kobold. Kobold's plus nine. Got a better hit than Strahd. Oh, look at that. And that is a miss. Tell me that's not clutch. And then lastly, the zombie. If the zombie is, a, is within one tile of a hero... It moves adjacent to the closest hero and attacks the hero with a rotting fist. Wow. So rotting fist uh, is a plus five. You can miss. Come on, dude. He does. A three plus five is eight. Wow. That is, that is pretty awesome. So now it's my turn. It's my turn now. That's, that's good. And, and now, remember, I got the surround them theme. So I get a plus one for all my attack rolls, which is nice. I get a small drink here. I got a couple nice cards to use, like Beacon of Hope and Shield of Faith. So I'm, I'm definitely going to use those. Um, yeah, that's really nice. Oh, yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my, I'm going to use a, uh, a daily power. I'm going to use Beacon of Hope. So choose a tile within one tile of me. Uh, and I'm going to attack each monster. And I'll gain hit points back if I, if I, if I do this correctly. So 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and attack the Kobold. Fr I'll, go, I'll go ahead and I'll attack uh, Strahd first. It's plus six, plus one is seven. So 12 and seven is 19. I actually hit Strahd. Wow, so he takes two damage. So he's actually at eight hit points left. Oh, I could actually try to fight him. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. Uh, and now my Beacon of Hope I'll use on the Kobold. And the Kobold only has one hit point. He's got 13 AC. And I rolled a 16 plus 7 is a 23. So the Kobold takes two damage. He goes dead, which is okay. Uh, surround them is now done. I got to discard that. But remember, with this environmental spirit of doom, every time I discard a treasure card, I take one damage. But I got one hit point back for hitting the... I guess I get back a... Yeah. So it doesn't explain it. It doesn't say each hero gets a... Each hero on a hit, each hero on that chosen tile will regain one hit point. I'm just going to play it like that. I'm not going to try to cheat it. So now that, that power is done. And I still have one more reaction power, which is my shield of faith. So I'll save that for when I get hit by Strahd next. So I get a treasure card now, right? Did I? I didn't take a treasure card, did I? No. I didn't. So I get... <laughs> look at that. But it doesn't matter because, I mean, play this blessing immediately until the end of your next hero phase. I get a plus two speed, which doesn't matter anyway because I'm going to take another tile. Hopefully, I can... Uh, Get that special tile next time and get the heck out of dodge. So I'll have plus two until the end of my next hero phase. So I think I'm I'm good to go. I've got plenty of experience. Uh, I'm gonna run away, uh, of course. I'm gonna take another tile. Please be the tile. Yes, it is. It's the tile that I need, and it's a white tile. I actually survived this oh my goodness so i am done but see here's the thing though it doesn't explain can you take the rest of your movements into the tile i mean i usually always have one tile one square left for movement every time and it doesn't say in the book that you can move into the next tile so if you guys are experienced with this, what, what do you guys, please leave in the comment section down below. Does this actually count as moving it? Like, can I take my fifth square and move in? I don't, I don't think that's the case. I don't know. It could be. I don't know. So uh, the, let's see. Remember the goal is to find the secret stairway tile that leads out of the dungeon before Straw defeats you. And victory is you win the game when a hero starts his or her turn on the secret stairway tile. So all I have to do is just get one more square, basically. But then again, I got to draw another monster card, which is another zombie. Uh, so I'll put that out there. And now I got... No, there's no encounter... But I have three monsters that are on me now. The first, which is Count Strahd, he's within two tiles, so he's going to move here. He says, you're not getting out of here, Thorgrim. And he death touches me, and he misses again. He misses again. That is, that's clutch. I, I am successful. Next will be the zombie to my left. That's a 12. And a 5 is going to be a 17. Uh, but I have an 18 armor class because of my amulet of protection. That zombie misses. And now the final zombie, if the if the uh, zombie is with one, within one tile, it'll move adjacent to me. And it does. And then it will try to slam me with its uh, slam attack. And that actually hits. So I think something happens here. So I'll take one damage. 
no problem. Well, in fact, no, I'm not because I am going to go ahead and use my shield of faith. Uh, use when you are or a hero on your tile is hit. Oh, I like the or a hero part. Uh, so the attack misses instead. You and each hero gain two AC until the end of my next hero phase, which it doesn't matter now because it is the hero phase. I have no more powers left. I am totally drained. And I am moving one, two, three, four, five, and I escape out of the secret stairwell. Wow, look at that. Man, totally clutch, man. I had S S Count Strahd chasing me the entire time. Well, not the entire, but a lot of the game he was chasing me. So I won. You win the game when a hero starts his or her turn. Oh, starts his or her turn. Uh-oh. Starts his or her turn on the secret stairway tile. Uh-oh, I didn't start my turn. So, uh-oh. <laughs> I, I got four hit points. Oh, my goodness. I could actually fail this if all three creatures hit me. I could fail. Oh no, this is not good. Well, I moved. I can still, I can still attack, and I didn't attack. So I'm gonna attack this zombie at least. So I need to take at least one of these zombies out. AC eleven, a four. Oh no. Uh, okay, I hit. So it's four uh, plus eight with my healing strike. That's twelve. I kill the zombie here. He's done. I get a treasure card. Uh, play this blessing immediately until the end of your next hero phase. Whenever a hero hits a monster with an attack, that hero gains back one hit point. So that's until the end of that, but that's it. I, I, I'm not going to take advantage of that. So I have to discard it, and when I discard it, remember, I have to take a damage, so I still take that one damn damage anyway. Ah, oh, man. So at least I, I, it's still they get two attacks. I mean, these things have to miss me or I am going to be screwed. So, man, this is, this is, this is like, I'm really, really worried. I have three hit points. <clears throat> it's now Strahd's turn. I'm at the base of the stairwell. I'm starting to climb up and Strahd attacks. I have an 18 AC. So, Eight and eight is six. Oops. Eight and eight is 16. He misses because I have an 18 armor class. So that's good. I'll start my turn and win. So now the, the zombie, it shambles up to me. It attacks me. Thank goodness there's no movement. Uh, yeah, they're 17. So he hits with a 22. <clears throat> so the zombie is going to... One damage for each monster on the zombie's tile. Oh, no. Thank goodness that third zombie wasn't there because I would have died. So I took one damage, two damage. I have one health left, and I started the turn on the tile, and I win the game because I, had, I started on the tile. I had nothing left. No healing surges, <clears throat> no power cards remaining, nothing. And I won the game. Wow, what a tough game. That was so fun. And I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. Hats off, Wizards, for having this fun game. I mean, this is really fun. I actually had a fun time playing this. And I was on the edge of my seat, guys. I mean, Strahd was chasing me for the majority of this adventure. So there's a total of 21 tiles. I played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, I can't count. That's why I majored in history. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 rounds 15 rounds I lasted wow this is this is really hard 
And I think I may expand it and play a couple of heroes. Maybe play a fighter in and a cleric or a cleric and a paladin. That, that, this is really fun. Holy cow, I had a great time. So I'm going to do all of these other adventures as well. I'll, you'll probably see one every couple days or so. Uh, I'm having one video a day release instead of putting out five videos at a time. Uh, I think doing one video a day is a, a lot better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a blast playing it. So let me know in the comments section what you, what you think of the game. Uh, let me know if I did anything wrong. I don't think I did. I think I, I may have screwed up a couple times. But I think for my first time playing, I think it went really well. And I, I, th I think I did pretty decent. So let me know down in the comments section below. Please, guys, if you like the video, please thumbs it up. Also, uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and check out my Patreon page uh, to help support what I do. So thank you, guys. I appreciate you watching. And until next time, happy gaming and stay safe.